Hi, Mina san and Konnichiwa. And I'm going to do a Dragon Ball, talk about Dragon Ball Super Broly. And I just went to see it and I'm like, wow, the the animation is like amazing. Like this is like up there with Disney or probably better than Disney animation. I just thought it was wow, really good high octane action. And I'm going to talk about Dragon Ball Super Broly and it is probably the Dragon Ball movie I've always wanted to see and well first off I'm going to talk about the story and how they've done it there's like at the start there's like a 30 minute 20 minute prologue and the prologue of it is like uh, Broly's backstory and uh, with Paragus and like King Vegeta wants to kill but he doesn't kill Broly, he because let's face it, that would be a bad king, you know. Well, you're killing your own civilians, you know. So instead, he sends them off to a very inhospitable and very dangerous planet, and says, "Oh yeah, if he survives, he survives. Or you know, if he dies, you know, like that seems more political and seems what a king would probably do instead of outright murder a kid. And it kind of made more sense. Like, oh, okay, so you know, like." Clearly, well, Fujita, King Fujita is a, cow- uh, a coward, but but I liked it with... Uh, I, I knew that they were going to retcon stuff and change things and make Broly canon, and I liked how they made Broly's story more canon. And, well, I like what they did with the whole Paragus and uh, storyline. Uh, but to have the, like, the Freezer in it as well, to have Freezer and the whole sane history with, like, Bardock and stuff, and they take... Took in some cues from um, Dragon Ball Minus, which I've not read that, but I've heard some bad things about it, and it's kind of led to believe that Bardock and the other Saiyans aren't as evil as we thought they would be, or aren't as vicious, and actually have families, and actually care, and love each other, and I don't quite like that. I I, I don't really like that, but I thought, okay, they just completely changed the saying race kind of thing there so it was really odd and weird but i did like the prologue i thought it was okay i just didn't like certain things where it with goku basically taking the superman route and it's like he just went off to a planet just because it was safe he went to earth because it was safe and i went no i like the idea that he was went to earth to destroy it and yeah and there was certain things that i just didn't like um from that prologue but all of Broly's story that was good I liked it and yeah I just like it was like 20 minutes and I was a bit like oh man this is really come on let's get to it we want to see Goku and Goku yeah Goku and Fujisa only appear 20 minutes into the film wait no that's a, yeah like adult Goku and Fujisa so it's really strange and but they like, did that just to set up Broly all that rat conning and all that character stuff it was just to like make Broly become better and it's so good Broly is now a full-fledged character he he was raised in a brutal environment he's a warrior he's a killing machine he like he drinks monster blood he's never had water in his life so he drinks monster blood or milk or whatever alien milk or god knows what he's been having Uh, he's been having some brutal nasty sour in sweets what's sweets or what's candy he's never had that so it's like you know it's like what is chocolate so he's very hardcore brutal and all that and he's a he's kind of like a rabid dog in a way like the way paragus treats him because of how powerful and strong he is and he's got a shock collar which he had like in the original i i believe like some kind of like braces to stop him from going too powerful but yeah to have a shock collar and Whenever Broly loses his temper, or gets angry, uh, completely, yeah, like Par- Paragus will just shock him to keep him in in line like a dog, and it's really, yeah, it's kind of kind of bad, like you know, um, it's kind of like Jet Li Unleashed. If you've seen Jet Li's Unleashed with like Danny, like Danny the the dog character, so it's exactly like that really, um, but with Super Saiyans, and I just thought it was so. It was really good. And yeah, like these new characters, Chile, and I forgot the other guy. And they meet up with Broly and then they recruit them into the Freezer Force. And Freezer thinks, okay, I can use Broly to kill Goku. I, I'll try and 
use Broly to beat v Vegeta and Goku, and that's the, basically the whole plot. Vegeta wants, uh, no, Vegeta wants the Dragon Balls, and uh, he's using Broly to get the Dragon Balls. Yeah, I love the fact that they're using the Dragon Balls. It's all about the Dragon Balls because it's called Dragon Ball, and it's like the main villain wants to have the Dragon Balls. Simple. It's like it's all about revenge and all that. But Freezer having, I was like, oh, he's gonna have immortality, and that's gonna raise the stakes. And I'm like, whoa, 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 he doesn't want immortality. What's this? He wants a little joke. It. He wants to be taller. And I'm like, okay, and that's kind of funny. But it's like it's not. And I couldn't help but think. If Frieza actually told Goku, hey Goku, I want the Dragon Ball so I can become taller, Goku would be like, oh really? It's like, is that all? Um, uh, okay, you can, okay, uh, I'll, I'll make a wish for you. I uh, make Frieza taller. And the whole story would have just, that's it. You know, you wouldn't even have a problem right now. It's, that's it. It's okay, it's cool, but it's so stupid. It really is. It's kind of, his very stupid motive. It's kind of funny, one off joke, but it's, it's not, it's just really stupid. Um, but yeah, Broly is the star of the show. He's a really good uh, character. i seen the English dub of it, so Fick McNonya, if I said his name correctly. Um, he's He does a really great performance. Uh, I didn't even know it was him. I was like, whoa, is that like, he's very soft-spoken and gentle and really good. But when he's angry, he's like, oh, like, I mean, it's so, it's well done. Uh, Broly is a, a very um, sad character. He's not. You can tell it's Paragus that is the bad guy. That Paragus is the one that's giving him orders and saying, "Oh, kill Fujio, kill the Saiyans, like Revengers boy and Avenge, Avengers boy and all that." And um, yeah, and you kind of feel sorry for for him. And uh, by the end of the film, I did feel sorry for Broly. I went like, oh man, I don't want him to die. It's, it's just like, oh man, he's just a sick little dog. Like, just, oh, you know what I mean? Uh, the surprises and twists, I had it spoiled for me. Um, thanks to some of the YouTuber community, like, not you guys, but like, there's some people that really need to like, shut the hell up. I know I gotta stay away from the internet, but there's like, come on guys like you're better than that you know what i mean it's like don't put it in the goddamn thumbnail don't put it right as a title it's like come on that's you're really stupid it's like and i, I honestly think it's really dumb but um yeah i think uh that's another topic you know like youtube community of dragon ball fans that's like i personally don't like them um, like yeah i like dragon ball fans i just don't like content creators anyway i'll just like skip that um, but it was like the twist in it when um, Paragus dies, Frieza killed Paragus. I was like, oh, okay. I went, oh, he, he does that? Damn. Frieza, Frieza's evil. Frieza's a, oh, he's so bad. Like, And I was like, um, I know, I was surprised. But then all the way through, I was like, when's Broly going to go Super Saiyan? And it's only when Paragus dies that he sees uh freezer he doesn't see freezer kill him freezer just says oh no your dad died uh something happened i don't know I, he just he got hit by a blast and and then broly freaks out and he actually genuinely cares for his dad and he freaks out and he just completely loses it and becomes super sane and it's so like how trunks become super sane when future trunks became super sane because gohan died and Goku became Super Saiyan because Krillin died. And, you know, that sadness, anger, rage, uh, tragedy, and all that stuff. And, bam, you become the Super Saiyan. And I'm like, that is great. It was great how it was implemented. It was awesome. I enjoyed it. It was a great film. Uh, Gohan wasn't in it. Don't know why. He just wasn't in it. And I feel sorry for all the Gohan fans. So, yeah, I, it would be nice to have Gohan in it. Uh, yeah, and it... Not all the characters are in the film. Piccolo's in it, but he doesn't really do much. He's, it's just, yeah, I was surprised. Like, no, no, it's just, it's mainly Goku, Vegeta, Frieza, and Broly. That, that, they're the main guys. It's just a big showdown with them. But once uh, the first fight kicks off between Vegeta and Broly, it's like non-stop action. It's like all the way through it. It was, uh, it was utter amazing. The animation was superb. The highlights to the film for me personally 
was when it went into the first person view where it was so cool like just flying in the air and it's like you're looking through Broly's eyes and he's like you see the hands throwing chi blast and he's flying in the air and they're breaking mountains and like kicking Goku into um, exploding mountains and stuff all in first person view and it was so slick and so well done how, how it was done with the animation it was so good and I just thought that was amazing and like the camera if it was like a 3D film or like uh, an act- live action movie it's like the way it pans around and zooms and stuff between the fight and you get to see a lot of stuff it's like it's like hardly any cuts in the film. Like normally you have cuts, but this is like no, the camera's constantly moving during the animation. I don't know how they did it. I don't know if it's like three D CG or something, or but it was really good, and I I thought it was amazing. And yeah, I am really su- kind of surprised how um, the trailers ruined gogeta i'm like i really i, I was watching ethan hubs i read ethan hubs i like reading their articles the fighting game website and then it's oh gogeta now in the film i'm like whoa i was like i thought this was fighting game website not something about a movie like uh granted dragon ball fires is fighting game but i went yeah that's a movie and i i, I me including a lot of people were really annoyed it's like can i want to avoid that and I could have avoided it as well. I really could off the Gogeta trailer. But thanks to Event Hubs for screwing that one up. Yeah, thanks, Event Hubs. That website's not really as good as I like it to be. Uh, you know, it's one of the best fighting game websites. And it doesn't really act like the best fighting game website. So, yeah. Sorry. I'm right on a tangent right now. But, yeah. um, it's It was really good. It, it, I liked Gogeta in the film. I thought it was re- really good. It was like, oh man, like, we ain't going to beat this guy. We got like instant transmission and get hell out of there and join forces. So it, it was good. It, it it was natural. That was theory. People theorized Gogeta would be in it. We heard, we might have heard Gogeta would have been in it. So yeah. But to have him in it, it was, um, it was good. It was great. It was amazing. I'm just kind of sad that it was spoiled. I thought that's really dumb. Like, you know, final act. Don't spoil the final act of the film. And that's what they did with the trailers. It's like, are you really... I, way to go. Uh, bloody, I don't know, the entertainment in, industry and the, the marketing is getting really god-awful here. Yeah. In this day and age. But yeah, that's why I mostly avoid watching trailers. I And I didn't really watch a lot of trailers. I never watched all the trailers. I only had that Kojita and thing. But the ending to it as well was really good to have Broly survive. That was so good. And like, Kojita would have killed Broly straight away. He would have killed him, but he didn't. And it was so good. It Like how Chile saved Broly. So yeah, it was really good how it was done. And I actually think um chile is gonna be chile is a lot of fan service i i think she was really sexualized she has a lot of curves i'm like damn a lot of fan boys are gonna really like chile like this green alien girl so yeah but apart from that i just like nothing to say about it It was great animation the music was good it was really funky music and everything and I really enjoyed it. It's a really good movie and a really great movie to watch in cinemas. And for Dragon Ball fans, I preferred this over Battle of Gods. I really liked Battle of Gods and I think this was better than Battle of Gods. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. So uh, there's nothing more to say about it. It was a really great film. And really great film. So yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, and you take care.